Caleb, we're often told that today marks the beginning of our lives together, the start of our forever, but that's not quite true. Our journey began 2,544 days ago. From the moment we met, it felt like I was home. You swept me off my feet and quickly became my entire world. Falling in love with you was easy. I loved you with my whole heart at the age of 15, but somehow I love you more today and somehow I know I will love you more tomorrow. Your light shines so bright, you leave everyone better than you find them without even realizing it. Maddie, our day is finally here. I know that we have been talking about this day and dreaming about it for years. I can't help but think about our lives together so far and what's yet to come. We have been through everything together, whether that be the adventures and memories that we have shared, the pain, the triumph, the good, the bad, the defeats, and the successes. We have went through it all together. Not very many people get to say that they have a soulmate, but I was lucky enough to have met mine at such a young age. You complete me in every way, and I will never be able to thank God enough for giving me you. You are my favorite thing in all of his creation. I will always love and cherish you. You truly are my greatest blessing. I love you. Um. <laughs>
Here's what he says. Love suffers long, or is long-suffering. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Love is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely. Love does not seek its own. It is not provoked, and love thinks no evil. Notice that love does not rejoice in iniquity, but love rejoices in the truth. And then these next five things. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. And then the three key words of the passage are these. Love never fails. By the authority vested in me as an evangelist in churches of Christ, and by the great state of the uncommon commonwealth of Kentucky, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now, Caleb, you kiss the bride. <laughs> I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Ray.
different spaces I've been suffocating here too long I can't it. 